Hey amazing artist, come and doodle with me, it's doodle time. We are going to do some loose and easy doodling and mark making with watercolour paint. I don't know why, but watercolour paint seems to flummox quite a lot of us and I often hear people expressing their frustration with it and even their fear of not knowing how to get started with it. I think that we feel a little inhibited using it sometimes, like there's a lot of rules that we think we should know before we pick up our brush. If you recognise that and you can empathise with that, then this is going to be perfect for you. Because we're just going to do some very simple mark making and doodling just with watercolour paint and it's definitely going to help you to get past all of that baggage and fear about using your watercolours. There's nothing really that you need to know before you get started into your watercolours because you're going to learn it as you use them more often. So stop worrying about using your watercolour the right way and <laughs> right way was in inverted commas there in case you didn't recognise it from my voice. some of that play attitude that you have with maybe some of your other materials, maybe with your acrylics or your pencils or the other mediums that you enjoy playing with. Bring that all to your watercolour paint and just use it in the same playful kind of way. In last week's video I was looking for a colour to inspire me and I ended up with this really lovely colour combo. So I'm going a little bit further with that today and just playing and doodling and mark making and kind of show you where I went next after last week's video. I call these doodles because they really are an extension of my pen doodling that I do in my daily doodle diary <laughs> but with paint instead of pens. And I'm using little cut down pieces of watercolour paper instead of doing it in a sketchbook or anything like that. I mean, you can if you want do it in a sketchbook, no problem at all. And I think one of the things that I really love about watercolours is all the different textures you can make with it really simply as well. If you're just open to letting them do their thing and not worrying too much about it. So my approach to these doodles when I'm using watercolour paint is pretty much the same as when I do my pen doodles on the level that I just kind of go for it but with the paint it offers you a lot more different textures and different choices so we really want to give the paint opportunities to make those textures and that's really what playing with your materials like this is all about and it's going to ease you into it you're going to learn so much about it and about how to use your materials and how you like to use them. And as you go along, you kind of learn what's the best way to use them and how to get them to really shine. So think of using your watercolours like this as just a really great way of experimenting and playing. And you know me, it's always about the playing and the experimenting too. <laughs> So the way I get started is to do some very simple mark making and this is a great place to experiment with your mark making and see what kind of marks you like to do. Express your own style and don't feel that you have to do the same as others, just go for it. 
And whilst you're doing all this, you want to give your paint those opportunities to mix and merge and see what happens. So this is a really great time to just sort of explore the shape of your brush. It can be really simple. And whatever brush you've picked up to use, what kind of shapes can you make out of it? Is it a nice big juicy brush so you can put lots of paint down? Is it something that's thin so you can squiggle some lines? What happens when you use the whole brush head to make marks? Or maybe you just want to use the tip of it to make marks. Hold it loosely, hold it firmly put pressure on, don't put pressure on, try them all out. There really are no rules whatsoever. There's just the way that you like to use it and the way you like to make the marks that make you happy. So I do like to let the watercolours run into each other and this really is where the magic comes to itself with watercolour paints. So things you can play with here are things like the amount of pigment to water. Don't be afraid to layer your paints over the top of each other or make it so that they just touch and run into each other. So you can see me going out of my way to run different colours into each other just by playing with how the shapes touch and where they touch. Or maybe just letting marks run right over other marks that are already on the page. You can also use things like splatters and splashes too. Or adding clean water and see how that affects the paint that's already on the page. Or add clean water and then add paint into that clean water and see how that works. Watercolours give you the opportunity to have really nice crisp lines or go the completely other end of the spectrum and get really feathered and soft lines that kind of just spread. So work out how to make those kind of lines. Like the crisper lines come from when you add paint onto a dry surface and when you want to do softer looks try adding them onto a wet surface and you'll see how this will change up the look. Playing with the amount of water you add is also a great way of seeing how your watercolours work. So you can just add in paint to a like lightly damp surface. Compare that to what happens when you have a really wet surface and you add paint into it. I like getting saturated looks with my watercolours and today you see me using them straight from the pan because well <laughs> basically I got so excited about the colours that I just jumped right on into it. But you can also use your watercolours from a palette 
to get more control over the saturation of the pigment and it will also help you to avoid things like the sheen that you could get from some of your watercolours and depending on what binder is in there and how much. Sometimes when it's too saturated you'll get a kind of binder sheen. But again, this is what you learn as you do it. Once your watercolours are dry, you can have a look at them, see what kind of textures are on there, and see which ones you liked, and which ones you're not so fond of, and then remember for next time how you made those. And remember, you can always take notes as you go along. By the way, if you did want to find out more about these colours and what paints I'm using, then go back to last week's video and watch that once you've finished watching this one. And I'll put a link to that video in the description below. I've used the same brush for all of these doodles, but that's really another thing that you can play with, changing up your brush and using your doodles to get to know how that brush that you're using works. I'm using a synthetic sable quill, and I really love quills and mop brushes when it comes to watercolours. They hold a lot of water and can cover large areas, even the small ones. This is quite a small brush compared to other quills and mops. But even this one can hold a lot of pigment and a lot of water. But even so, I can still get dry brush effects with it by just letting the brush run out before reloading. And those marks, the dry brush marks, are really fun to play with as well and add into your mark making repertoire when it comes to watercolours. I like making big sweeping gestures and big marks with these kind of brushes. It's very easy to do, but if you want smaller marks, I need to exercise a lot more control over the brush so for the smaller marks it's actually easier to go to a different type of brush. But as well as doing these doodles to learn all about your watercolour paints, you're also learning about your brush too. Watercolour paints are fun to play with. Yeah, just go for it. Make some marks, see what happens. Let the colours run into each other, let the colours pull or let them run dry. Play with your brush, see where it takes you. Have fun and thank you for joining me with the art play today. I've got more watercolour doodling inspiration going on in these videos, so watch them next and I'll see you over there.